What's up YouTube? I'd like to ask you to please like and subscribe this video because at 1,000 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway. I will be giving something away to one of our subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, your support in our videos, watching our videos. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I will be posting more videos like this. Uh, project videos like uh, I'll be pro posting the build video of this uh, sh these two shelves. Also, um, I am a skydiver and I've I took some time off, but I'm now back in the sky again. I'll be posting some skydiving videos soon. Um, I have over 2,000 skydives, and I uh, took about a four-year uh, break. So I'll be posting an update on that. Uh, getting you know. The process of getting back in the sky also one of the most uh, frequently asked questions is you know how many jumps do I have it's over 2,000 skydives and also the second question is do I pack my own parachute so I will be doing a video on how to pack how I pack my parachute so you guys can see that so happy new year again please like comment and subscribe to help us get to 1,000 subscribers enjoy your day All right, folks, what's up, YouTube? All right, sorry, my throat is, uh, my throat's a little hoarse, or... So today on the agenda is to finish up the shelves. My daughter wanted some shelves for her bedroom, so we went to Lowe's and got the lumber and everything. And I'm gonna walk you through how to build these things. I'm not gonna show you how to build them because they're already built, but I can show you the prices and what I did to make them. So <clears throat> here we go. And, and I'm going to show you the tools that you need. So let's, uh, let's start off by looking at the, uh, the shelves themselves. So these are actually uh, made from 12 by 8s. Um, they're actually, we cut them to 6 foot 8. Uh, so they're 6 foot 8, 6 foot 8 inches high. And so that left a little bit at the top. And uh, we cut the shelves to 15 and a half inches. These are also 15 and a half inches here. So uh, those are the dimensions there. These are, um, I think, spruce from, uh, from Lowe's. And they were about 15 bucks a piece, these, uh, these, uh, these pieces right here. So 12 by eight, they were about 15 bucks. Uh, we gotta use six of those. And uh, this here is like some very thin board that I got left over from tearing my desk down. It's a little sign I made uh, for Max's party. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, and I, and I put these here to uh, kind of shore up the, uh, the, uh, the shelves. So I put one, two, three, and four. So that's how you, uh, th those are the, di the dimensions. So uh, these, I just happen to use these here, uh, pegs, these style pegs here. Got these at Lowe's, uh, shelf pins. I cut the holes to a quarter inch. So uh, let me let me talk about that. I had planned on using a different kind. This one here, uh, that was quarter inch. It was a little heavier duty, but uh, fitting this little part in between the board kind of made it. There was a gap here, and I didn't really like that, so I switched it to these. And uh, you can also use these clear ones. See that they're a little bit longer. Uh, package of four, 69 cents. 
same price for the metal one, 69 cents. And uh, I think we used 80, we're gonna use 80 total. So, uh, okay, that's it. That's, uh, that's about all the dimensions there. Oh yeah, and we used uh, some L brackets here. I don't know, these are a couple of bucks a piece. So I'll put them on the video. Um, you can buy those at Lowe's. They look like this. Uh, two and a half by two and a half by five eighths um, brackets, and they, they come with the they come with the screws. So uh, because she didn't want any screws on the outside here, so everything is clean on the outside. Everything is attached on the inside or the back. Um, now the holes here, these are a quarter inch holes. Now you can do uh, five millimeter, which is the most common. In order to do that, it, it looks professionally done. I mean, they're, they're spaced just right. And when I used, uh, I used a jig, and uh, this is the jig uh, by Craig, K-R-E-G. Um, so all you do is uh, attach this on here, clamp it on there, and then you can drill your holes. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And it's got a little stopper on there so you can put the little thing on your, uh, your drill bit. And uh, this kit comes with a five millimeter drill bit. Um, however, I was using a quarter, so I went out and bought these. As you can see, the quarter is missing. They are Brad Point Drill bit set and these are this is 15 bucks for six or yeah six bits this is the same kind of uh <clears throat> drill bit that come in the kit and uh that came in the kit and this also has like a little pen you can put this pen in here right and then it'll, it'll line up right so when you get done with one, like drilling five, the six holes, you just move it up, put the pin in the bottom one, and you can drill the next uh, six holes. And they're all evenly spaced all of them down. Now what we did was we left little gaps, like here and here and here and here. Uh, we knew how many shelves we were gonna make, so we just kind of figured out, uh, you know, we're about to put the holes. Now she's got six holes here, six here, six here, six here six here and uh, or actually 12 or 11 here because we used this pen after getting over the sixth one just moved it up this kit here was very expensive it was like 35 bucks but it saves a ton of time and it's so easy to use these are clamps from harbor freight they're like a dollar or something a piece right and then you can just Lamp it like that, and it's on there. So you can just start drilling. So easy to use. Let's talk about what tools we need. Trusty speed square. A good uh, tape measure. Some pencils. Uh, straight edge. Uh, you know, these are really cheap at Harbor Freight. A few bucks. Uh, you can get. This is a Stanley, but you, you can get a one at Harbor Freight for pretty pretty cheap, like five bucks or whatever. Um, if you don't have one, you should, most people have one of those. Um, these clamps, you, these are Irwin, but you can get ones just like it at uh, at a Harbor Freight. So you just squeeze them up like that, and they tighten, or you quick release like that. These are super handy because when you're it allows you to clamp your wood down and it doesn't move. So when you're sawing or you're cutting, uh, it makes things, uh, it makes your life a lot easier. Now let's talk about the saw. This is a skill saw. I think I paid $40, $35, $40 at Lowe's. It was on sale, caught it on sale. I think it's like $50 regular. Comes with this neat little bag, put it in. It actually comes with a blade um it's a rip i mean it's a 
a very coarse blade. So I went to Harbor Freight and bought this Ultra Finish Admiral um, Fine Tooth Saw. I don't know how many teeth it is. Um, it says it's from wet lumber, but whatever. But it's a very fine, fine tooth, and that's uh, important for getting uh, very smooth cuts. Um, this was the tabletop to my old desk. And I'm using that as a uh, temporary uh, workbench. And these, oh yeah, these uh, little saw horses. <clears throat> these saw horses come from Harbor Freight. They were like eight bucks, ten dollars, something like that. Two of them. And you're gonna need a nice. Uh, well, you don't even really need a nice one, but I got a nice Makita drill. Uh, and this one, this pack came with an impact socket. So what I do is I usually put the drill bit in the impact socket, and then I put the actual uh, screw uh, screwdriver bit onto the screwdriver. And that way I can just drill, 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 and grab the other one and screw, screw, screw. So I bought this separate. This is like a just a regular bit. It's torn up, whatever. Still use, still works good. So there's that. This is my latest uh, drill bits. I think I bought these for like 15 bucks. It's either Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember. Uh, these are really nice, super sharp. I like this the way these are um, put in here. These are a hex sink counter sink set or counter sink bit. So I was using this here. So this would, uh, you know, I could drill the pilot hole and then use this, and it would uh, kind of drill a countersink for these, so these are flush, right? So that they're not gonna rub up against the wall. Other than I pre-drilled these holes. Oh yeah, these here, let me talk about those. So what I did was, on these L brackets, um, we measured back how far we wanted it. I think these are like an inch and a half from the top, the bottom is. So like we drew a line and then we used a straight edge used this straight edge and uh, clamped it to the wood. And then uh, we actually just used two of these brackets and put them side by side up against the, just like this wood is here, the, the, the straight edge. And then uh, you take your pencil and you mark a little circle. And you mark, do the same thing on that side, mark those two circles. So this is exactly one bracket width over. And then you take them off, you just pre-drill your holes and then you put them in. Easy peasy. Same thing on on all of them. Super simple, super simple. Name of the game, you know? Keep it simple. And uh, my daughter can paint it if she wants. She was talking about painting it white at first, but now that she's looked at it, she may go ahead and use like a clear or lacquer finish because, you know, these, I mean, it's kind of nice like it is, you know, unfinished, really. But, uh, you know, it's whatever she wants to do. So, there's the process. I'm assuming that everybody else knows how to drill pilot holes and everything, but uh, not everybody's used a circular saw. So. so, the process of cutting all of the, the 12, 12 buys. So, if you look on this uh, saw here, zero is here. There is, I believe, one and a half inches this way and four and a half inches this way. So, and I wanted to cut it like this, right? As you can see, we've got enough board here for the saw to ride on and make a straight cut. I clamped a spare piece of uh, wood. Okay, these pieces are 15 and a half, so 15 and a half plus the four and a half is 20 inches. So I measured 20 inches 
and then drew a line, drew a line there, and then I put the board here, clamped it down, and then I can run the saw and have a nice clean cut here. So how I did that was, I just got done teaching my daughter this stuff, so um, it's fresh in my brain. So if there's anybody else that haven't done, hasn't done anything like this before, here you go. All right, I'm gonna walk through this process for you guys. So, like I said before, I'm gonna do 20 inches, because I'm gonna have a 15, 15 and a half inch shelf, plus the four and a half uh, on the saw. Make a little uh, V mark like that. And put the pencil on the mark, slide it up to the mark, put my hand here to hold it still. Make the mark. Put the pencil back on the mark. Slide it up. I need to sharpen my pencil a little bit. So now, mark here that is 20 inches from the end. It's perfectly perpendicular to the sides on both sides. So now, take my spare piece of wood here. All right, so there's my mark. I'm gonna put this flush right here. Give my handy dandy little clamp. Next shelf. Okay. All right. So now that's not going anymore. I always wear safety glasses and uh, ear protection. Like I said, I got the lighter, and I'm not going to be using it. So, uh, you just run it right up against this, uh, this here wood. I like to rock it up and down, make sure I got it flat, and back and forth. Pencil. And make sure your cord is back out of the way. Rock it up and down, left and right. A lot of people in the old days would take this guard off and they would set it like this, but it's extremely dangerous. Just unplug it. the guard for what it is. Set it down. Take these clamps off. And now, we have a shelf that is 15 and a half inches. Let's go try it out. See how pretty that is? 15 bucks for these boards. Not too bad. So I've already got the pegs on there. See? So and it slides right on in there. Snug it back. Whatever. There's minimal gap on each side. Just an extra so yeah works good 15 and a half inches perfectly fits right in there so uh, now all I got to do is cut this one this last uh, board and make some more shelves and then uh, put the pegs in and then it's done <laughs>
that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there you go. All right, we'll see you next time.